Hi, people. Hi. I'm back. I'm back. Probably because I want to be obnoxious. I feel that, um, people deserve an, an obnoxious shanty right now. Because nobody understands what I go through on a daily basis. I mean, I know I have a pretty face, but that doesn't mean that I'm not sick. And I am, and, um, there's nothing anyone can do about it. Okay? This is a life lawn battle. Plus, my life is shortened because I am in pain on a constant basis. Really bad pain. You know? The type of pain that might give you cardiac arrest pain every day like right now my knee my right knee is freaking killing me it's killing me and I got neuropathy in my feet so there's this constant tingling thing going on Ow. and I'm swollen Ooh, you made some fresh breadsticks? It's awesome. Oh, I wish I had one. I could go for some breadsticks. Oh. oh. Olive Garden. Little Caesars. That, oh, the cheesy breads. Cheesy. Oh. Yeah. I just got real hungry. <laughs> wow. Mm. See... I know I am an entertaining bitch, okay? <laughs> yeah. I'm an entertaining boss. Okay, it shows up as real Rev and Shanny now. Yeah. Okay, good. <gasps> Ooh. We love cutes. We should put the filter on because we'd be cutes. He is my homie. Yeah. I love him. I'm your twin angel. Yeah. Mwah. You're really cute. You're cute. You're very beautiful. So, mm. like, mm. if you're having a cardiac arrest, you need to be at the hospital. Well, yeah, sure. That's true. Yeah. yeah. What if you don't like hospitals, though? <laughs> I hate being in the hospital. I just figure if I die, I die. Oh, my God. If she dies, she dies. Yeah, man. Ivan Drago. Yeah, man. Style. I take it on like a motherfucking Klingon. Klingon. Eyes wide open when you die. That's right. That's the way you do I it. I want the howl after I die. The, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. And and so I hope some people might come to it and they, they would know that and they would howl too, like the Klingon death. And then... I forever become a cherry tree. <laughs> yeah, that's your plan. Right? You want to be in the soil ashes to ashes, literally. That's right. And be planted as a cherry tree, the shanty cherry tree. Yeah. I'll put some kind of sign there. You could put a teddy bear in the tree with a pink bow. Somebody might take it. That's true. You people are freaks. They might take it. You take... I know you would take my teddy bear with the pink freaking bow. <laughs> Bastards. Maybe we could have a way how to infuse the teddy bear into the tree while it grows. Why? Yeah. Uh, Science. Who asks a question? That's really weird, isn't it? No, no, nobody's exaggerating nothing. Don't exaggerate? I'm not. 
No, you're not exaggerating. If you guys saw her, you'd know. Right? If you saw her in person... It makes know. people not want to help you. What? I can't say how I fucking feel now. Well, that's... Go away. That's insane, though. Go away. That's so stupid. Who the hell says something like that? Holy shit. That, no. That's got to be just evil. That's bullshit, man. That's got to be evil trolling. It is evil trolling. It has to be. It is. There's so much of that shit. I know, man. We're watching this one channel. What is it called? Uh, I don't know. Fuck, I have my glasses off. What does this say? Public. Oh, yeah. Public Freakouts Unleashed. Public Freakouts Unleashed. Yeah. We've been watching these videos of these people freaking out, like, at grocery stores or post offices or even in their neighbor's yard. Yeah. We've been seeing this shit. Like, people just recording this shit and putting it on TikTok. Yeah. It's actually nuts. Pretty cool. On TikTok. Yeah. Cancel. So, like, I know right now just by seeing the abundance of people losing their fucking minds and yelling and screaming and being angry at people all the time, I know that is a dysfunction in psychology. That needs to be help. Oh. I, people, people really need to think about going to a therapist and getting mental health. Oh. And we really need to oh. give like grants to people who want to be psychologists. Because it's really freaking needed in this culture, in other cultures. People are so sick in their mind. That they think they can go to grown adults and tell them what to do. With, and, and chase people around. It's so inappropriate. It's inappropriate to act that way. That shit gets you in jail. I should know. Uh, unlawful. Yeah. It was unlawful. I got public disturbance on my profile. Oh. I lost my freaking mind. Should be forgiven for that reason, by the way. I should be forgiven for that because... It should be wiped from your record. Honestly, I've been a good girl. Never been like, a danger to anybody. G-Man's lucky I didn't black out on him. Yeah, he's very lucky, actually. He was pushing the limits when he came to my porch. Mm -hmm. And I've been recovering from that since it happened. Yeah. Since it happened. You don't go to someone's house when they block you out of their life. Block a Zulu. That's inappropriate. That could get you in jail. One moment. Some people can't afford mental help, and the government won't help because they make it make to too much money. Well, you know what? Maybe people <clears throat> like all of us should be responsible and and try to help people when they're losing their shit. Mm. <clears throat> Maybe we should learn, you know, in society, empathy and compassion. I think we should do that. I don't want to be angry at anyone. I don't, I don't, I, like, I definitely don't want to argue with anyone. Yeah. I got too much on my plate. Okay? I feel the weight of the world on top of me. I feel it. 
that. Heavy. And it's hard when I'm like this. Because I'm having all these intrusive thoughts mm. Um, mm. that are surrounding anger. And tempted to take vengeance. I don't like feeling that way. So I isolate myself. Because I don't want to hurt anyone. And I certainly don't want to be hurt. And I definitely don't want to go to jail. Again. So... I'll just continue and follow the law. And if people are saying this is marijuana, it is not marijuana. They're Johnny Silverhands. Cheyennes. Full flavor. 20 cigars. See? It, they literally look exactly like what Johnny smokes. See? Mm -hmm. It's tobacco. Cigarillo. It's another holy plant. I put a tobacco on graves. I do it the right way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. G Man is alive with Draven. Okay. Ugh. Fine. He didn't get back to me, so. Bro, I used to smoke them. That's so cool. Smoke what? Oh, the Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Yeah, they kick ass, man. They're they're cheap as shit. And they're a nice slow burn. Yeah, slow burn. They they they're a buck sixty seven a pack where we're at. No one said it was weed. You're starting fights out of nowhere. No, they'll say it's weed. Trust me. Yeah, she's preempting it. It's no offense to anyone right now, is she's preempting it. I'm preempting it. Because I get accused for everything. Yeah, you do. And I'm sick of it. It's ridiculous, actually. I shouldn't have to defend myself so much. I'm 40 years old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sick. My, uh, There's what? something really wrong with my body. Yeah, we're trying to figure that out. I know we're trying to figure that out. For real. So, forgive me for not wanting to do certain things and, and, and wanting to be around people who argue all the time oh. or make fun of people yeah. or pretend they know someone. Okay? I may have had maybe 10 in real life sessions with G-Man in my life. Yeah. Just ten. Okay? Each time he was accusing me of being something that I'm not. That's right. Each time. He smack talk you so much. Man. Oh my god, it was disgusting. Yeah, it was so ridiculous. It got it really did become He insulted me so many times. Fucking times. Well, to your and face, and but... here I am sitting here in a lot of fucking pain being like, oh my God, there's something wrong with my body. Yeah. I'm going to the doctor. They're trying to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. The smack talk was ridiculous behind your back, man. It, it was <laughs> insane. And he'd do the same with you and me uh, talking shit about me too. So it's like, wow. They know, all they know right now is I have fibromyalgia and osteoarthritis mm -hmm. in my ankles, knees, hips, and back. Okay? It was fine when it was in my legs. I could function. But when it grew in my hips and it grew in my back, that, that's when I stopped. I stopped living.
I stopped living. Maybe. And I was in a dark room all the time. Mm -hmm. And here it is. This man named Gary Mork comes in my life and fucking just... Abused the hell out of me. And he'd get off by it, too. He gets off on hurting people that are weaker than him. He once said that he likes to go after people who he thinks is weak because it gives him practice when he goes against someone strong. See, that's narcissism. That's, that is such a narcissistic thing right there that you just described that he said he likes to do. Listen, you son of a bitch, I am strong. I'm taking a lot of pain. More pain than anyone ever fucking knows how much pain I am in. Mentally and physically, I am hurting bad. You have no idea the weight of the world that's on my back. And you come to me, and you betray me, and we gave you everything. Mm. You don't deserve the kingdom of heaven. You don't. I tend to agree. Wow. I don't expect to be disrespected. There needs to be respect. And there needs to be boundaries. I, I got something that I'd like to say to him quick. He's talking shit. I know, it's fine. Look. I saw the title of one of your videos that basically said... Rev is not a man, he's a boy. Look, I'm going to be a grown-up and recognize that, yeah, I had a totally, completely different upbringing than 99% of people out that there. That doesn't make you bad, though. Well, no, I don't, I don't think it does it either. But he tries to make it seem like you're bad and you're not a man because y you were invested what? I was invested. Yeah, you had investments. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that's where my money came from. It's like, who cares? Yeah. Well, I, anyway. But, but they're trying to say because you lived that way that you're not a man. You well, are. You took care of your mother while she was dying. Yeah. But saying, like, just I would never had a regular nine-to-five job. Yeah. That's the truth. That doesn't mean you're not a man. You were working in other ways. Yeah, that's fair enough. But I appreciate that. You're welcome. But I just wanted to say to him that, you know, I get that whole thing that you're you're saying, okay? And being a grown adult, I recognize it myself. It is weird that I haven't. But it was just because I didn't need money. He accuses me of demasculating you. Well, that's while he's ridiculous. the one just demasculating you. You call me your man all the time and rub my chest and say how much you love my chest and shit. I do. It's bullshit what he's saying. It's it just is. straight up bullshit. And it needs to stop. Because it is amounting to harassment. You're lucky you don't have a restraining order on your ass. Yeah, Wessie, Jesse, I am. I am getting one, so don't worry about it. Yeah, I, I take accountability. And I am getting a job, so that's the truth. 100% it's going to happen, so. Anyway, yeah. Sorry I took it for a second. I that's wanted okay. to hear that. That's okay. I feel pretty male. I know, it, the boy or man, whatever. 
I don't can, give a shit anymore. You That's technically the thing. become a man by Jewish culture, which would be our culture, kind of. Okay. In, yeah. That's the thing. It, I don't give a shit anymore. A boy is bar mitzvahed at 13, regardless if he has a job or not. He's I'm taking so much freaking medication. I'm 39. I, I don't care. I'm 39, Gary. So I'm a man. Yeah, right? I'm 40 years old. I'm a woman, and yeah, I deserve you're respect. Woman. You're a woman. Now. You know, you're trying to be like, submit as a woman while you're taking orders from your fucking sister. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I don't get that. That's really weird. I'm not going to submit to you. I don't want you. Submit. It's even, it's just bizarre to say. We prefer our relationship to be equal. Yeah. Each one gets a say. Yeah. That's the way it should be. Weird flex. Weird flex. What the? I, I don't know what's weird about what mean? I just said. What the fuck does that even mean, man? Okay. Weird flex. Cool. That makes no sense. No. It's very honorable. It, it makes no sense what you people do. Uh, or what you say. No. Like, it used to be like, oh, she's drugging Rev. Oh, my God, that was insane. I'm like, what am I drugging him with, exactly? Oh, my God. And I couldn't even defend you or myself at that point. I was so gone. The wet brain was real I submit bad. to my husband all the time. The Bible says to. Uh, yeah. What makes you so. think I don't submit to my man? Oh, my God. What is... I don't even like that. No, he prefers an equal relationship. Yeah. Here, you speak. Yeah. I thought this was understood. Do you understand that people have preferences? Okay. Like... Some people like it where the woman submits. Some people like an equal ah, relationship. Jesus, God. Okay. Holy shit, will you let people live the way they want to live? Okay, can we go to the Bible? I don't even need it at this point because I believe that the Bible is pretty much almost written on my heart and the Lord will give me the words as I need to speak them. So I'm going to go to the reference of the Bible in the original sense of marriage. Okay? When Adam married Eve, there was no paper involved, was there? No. Okay. I don't think paper even was invented then. There was no paper at that point. Yeah. They had not developed technology to make paper yet. Okay? That's just not the case. I mean, maybe they used leather. Did, did they know how to make leather? They used, God gave them animal skins. Animal skins, yeah. But did they know how to make leather? No. They had to learn all that shit? No, shit. I mean, they, oh my God, I'm not sure about all that. My, okay. I should have kept listening to the music because that really calms my nerves and, and, and senses. Have a smoke. Yeah, I know. Here, I'll give you one. That's a deal. That's sort of like, I don't know, John Travolta and uh, Uma Thurman in, in Pulp Fiction. Thanks, thanks, baby. You're welcome, baby. Thanks, baby girl. You're welcome, baby my, boy. No, 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 no. My Honey Bunny. I love that. Movie. My Honey Bunny? The beginning of Pulp Fiction with the crazy chick. And my Puddin'. Did she call him Puddin? No, that's Well, Harley. that's Jokey and Joker and Harley. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're my Puddin'. Yeah, I really enjoy you. <laughs> was, oh yeah, back to what you were saying. Yeah. I'm kind of scatterbrained at the moment. I fucking I the music was common to me and then I didn't hear it anymore and it messed with my cognitive uh I had something right. Okay. What I'm going to make it and I don't I think I don't entirely remember the point that I had in the beginning, but if it comes back to me and it's really clear, I'll come back and I'll tell you this. I apologize 
profusely. Any sense out there that me and Shani aren't married, I want to go away. That's not right. Like other, other YouTube celebrities and other celebrities can have at least acknowledged that the couple that is together, if they say they're married, they're married. I want that to go away. Like, yes, Rev and Shani are married. There's no, like, stipulation. It's just that simple. We are married. I think he's saying we're not married because he has hopes that he can mm -hmm. still be with me. Yeah, I know that. But Gary protests every time it ever came up. No, 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 I'm not. Uh, no, he's no. fucking lying. No, no, no. He, he, he started feeling the side of my face and being like, ooh, your skin is so soft. Mm -hmm. That's an open. And, and then he openly asked, I don't know why you haven't come on to me yet. That's weird. It is so weird. It's like, what, you think I'd come on to you? What made you think I'd come on to you? I'm with my husband. That's so uncritical. I'm happy with my husband. Yeah, we've had fights. But we made up. And we've forgiven each other. And we moved on. Like normal fucking people. Are we a little dysfunctional? Fuck yeah. You know what I should do? I should get the Magic the Gathering box and prop this up on it in between us. No, the only problem is, no. is like the, the fucking microphone's on the Oh, bottom. okay. All right, I understand. Okay, I apologize. I just want the, the, the sense that we're not married to go away. Because we're coming up on... It's just one more year till seven years, and seven years married in common law... Uh, 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 domicile, oh my god, what do they call it? Common law. Seven years Pennsylvania. If you're together seven years, you are considered married. Yeah. In this state, too. We don't need no paper. It's just, yeah, we're together seven years. Oh, you're married, okay. Exactly. All right, so enough of the bullshit with that. And I took it from you. And go ahead, sorry, I apologize. I just, that was on my mind. And if the other Ugh. thing comes to my mind, I'll tell you. And I'll get it out quick and I'll give it back to you. Shani won't be with G-Man. She's still hung up on Chris. No. I think. Uh, hung no. Up? No. Hung up? No. 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 Just because there's no closure doesn't mean she's hung up on him. Mm-mm. Because you didn't really enjoy his sex or nothing like that. No. You weren't really into his sex. Like, what? I mean, you miss who he is. The way, his way. He's probably just trying to get to you. If you, you say you're married, be married. Thank you, Chubbs. Yeah, that's really nice. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. That's the t that's how it should be in this country. I, I, hey, celebrity juicer. How are you, dear? I'm going to give you a wave. You know, I value our commitment. I value our commitment, too. Because it's bound by Christ. Here, I'll do this for a minute. Yeah, what? Put it down. Oh, that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. No, I enjoy being in a bound commitment. Me, too. It feels correct, and it's like a shadow of Christ, with, with the commitment you have with him in your heart, with the Holy Spirit. Well, things don't get done if you jump to one relationship to another. Hmm. I don't want to jump to everyone. I don't want to have sex with anyone. Uh, is that me? Yeah. Okay, cool. Just I'm clarify, 40 years old. I just clarify that. You want it with me, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. I'm 40 years old. Jesus Christ. How many times are you going to say it? You I'm just trying to accept it, and it's not going very well. You look very good, though. It's Thank you. It's the truth. Anybody would say Thank that. Thank you. Yeah, it's true. I survived 40 fucking years. Yeah. I deserve a little fucking respect. With, like, no real parenting. It was, like, weird. yeah. It was weirdness. Right? It was weirdness. That's the only thing. Like, you love your dad. 
Yeah, I do, deeply. man. You love your dad deeply. We had times where we bonded and we hung out together. And we laughed together, and we had a lot of fun with each other. Mm -hmm. And she ruined it. Yeah. The narcissist. She was a narcissist. Oh, my God. That's the problem. There's way too many narcissists in this world. I agree with that. Malignant narcissists. Yeah, Yeah. we should just all put them on an island. Uh, Yeah. And, And just let them deal with each other. That would be brutal. You know what? I don't care. Film it all. I don't care. They ruin lives. And they laugh about it. And they take sick pleasure in it. And it's disgusting. Oh my god, I know. That's true. We'll we'll have malignant narcissist island. Yeah, man. And you film it all. Content. Yeah. Like the real world. Yeah, but it's an island. The real island. Exactly. Narcissist extreme. Oh my god, that would be insane. There would be dead people. Probably. They're de- it's the truth. Probably. Yeah. Your lives makes me want a cigarette. <laughs> Cheyennes are awesome. Okay, and if somebody wants to help me out on the Rev Roly uh, business deal... Hit me up on my email and may I that I that's a really good idea to come up with my own cigarette brand. Yeah. I I would be into that and I would endorse it and I would I absolutely I wanna get into resin art and sell it on Etsy. How is Shani putting a negative light on mental illness? What the fuck are you talking How about? am I putting a negative life... life uh, blah, 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 blah. That makes absolutely... How am I putting a negative light on mental illness exactly? No. Nah. That makes absolutely zero no. sense. No. Just because you watch drama channels who try to put everything I do and oh. say in a negative connotation Jesus. doesn't mean I'm responsible for your fucking feelings. Oh. Why don't you go oh. check yourself before you wreck yourself, Wessy Jesse? That's insane. Where does shit like that come from, man? You didn't say anything like that. No. It's the stigma. Yeah, man, showing me some stigma shit. I, I don't. Y'all that. are ableists, cause you you take people, and and you ruin their lives, and you laugh about it and funny. celebrate it. It's funny. What do I do? I I sit. On my couch, and I talk about how I feel and and different things that help me and things that I like, and then we have this big lug here, yeah and and he he tells us how he feels and what he's doing too, yeah, I'm not putting a negative light on b p d at all. I help people with b p d I have the messages. Yeah, you've had actual people say thank you. Yeah. Like that. What was her name? So are Ashley? you mentally ill or God's gift to Earth? I'm both, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah. I'm both. <laughs> oh. You can go prattle somewhere else, the Quixote. Oh, my Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't. Oh. Shani, talk about what you love. I love cigarettes. Cigarettes are awesome, aren't they? (laughs) And I love Dr. Pepper. Definitely. And I love the Gavins. Gavin. You love Gavin. I love Gavin. I love Gavin. He cuddles me. He's such a good... He cuddles me more than any other kitty cat. That's amazing. He sleeps... He sleeps in my arms and he like holds me and then he nuzzles his nose in my oh, eye socket man. while I'm sleeping. Jesus, that's so and cute, I don't man. mind it because his nose is wet and it's cute. 
<laughs> How high are you right now? Oh my goodness. You come here and you talk bullshit. And if I am high, it's none of your fucking business. Oh my god. Oh man, you know. I ain't doing anything wrong. I'm just sitting here. I'm talking. I ain't hurting anyone. Exactly. Why are you judging? That, that's, that's right. Why are you judging? Drinking the haterade. You should be ashamed of yourself judging people. Are you the police? Am I driving mm -hmm. intoxicated? No. 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 I'm on the couch. <laughs> and I'm telling people how I feel. And, and yes. And yes. I have my period. Uh huh. So I'm more feisty. Gee. <laughs> Go away, coyote. There. You got the ceremonial block. Yeah. That's what you got. Son of a bitch. You don't come to my corner on the internet and disrespect me. First of all. First of all. Don't disrespect me. Yeah. What you doing? I was listening to you and browsing through Maximilian Dude's uh video. You're still watching him, huh? I, he's, <laughs> he was my first gaming guy I ever watched. And then you saw Mike and it's like, oh. oh I fell totally in love with Mike, yeah. You want to talk but, about Mike? Oh my god, I, uh, why? I mean, I could go on for hours about him. I feel like I could have been his best friend easily. I knew a lot of kids that were 90% Mike Matei. So he's, yeah, I could just, we would be best friends, I think. We were friends, I mean, online, you know. Yeah, parasocial stupid bullshit, yeah. Well, I mean, just... He would know our name, like Rev and yeah, Shanny. Yeah, we're he, not. We're he, oh, Shanny. If he saw you in the chat room, he'd go, oh, Shanny. We're harmless. It's a long time I seen... The last time we chatted to him, he said, oh, it's a long time since I seen you, Shanny. So, you're like an acquaintance. And Aaron, too. Aaron, he, yeah, Aaron likes me. Mm -hmm. She always says, oh, hi, Shanny. Yeah. I like you're on something for sure. This is fucking... <sighs> Dude. Okay, I'm not gonna. Pain meds. I'm. I'm not. It's annoying. It is. It is so annoying, isn't it? Mm-hmm. When they talk their bullshit. It's really fucking. I'm done with that. Holy shit! Leave people alone. Yeah, I'm done. Why yeah. you all up in their business like that? Yeah. Exactly. I. I'm not in your business. Exactly. It's ridiculous. You're up my bloody freaking ass crack. Yeah. Just there. Haunting me. <laughs> Shanny, you look happy. I am. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. I am. I'm expressing myself. You're beautiful. Thank you. You really are. You're I mean, handsome. I really love that. This. The puffies. They're so cute. Thank you. Yeah, you look sexy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm living my life. 
I'm not obsessing about someone mm -hmm. like you guys are. Mm -hmm. I know totally what. Ran, on a totally random note. Hi. That I'll just throow it in Z here. Mit, Z Smith 42. I'm just going to put this random fact in here. Apparently, Ken in Street Fighter 6 is divorced. Ken got divorced. He was married? He was married to the girl that... You don't know the ending when you beat Street Fighter 2 with Ken? I don't he, like fighting games. He gets married to his girl. Oh. That's the ending of the game. Okay. When you beat it with him. He's divorced in six. See, the problem with Why fighter do you games... Do that, though? The problem with fighter games is it doesn't, like, grow my intellectual needs. Oh, it's so good for your fingers, though. But, but see, you know I like puzzles yeah, and figuring you, stuff you, out. Yeah, you're not... It's a, genre that you're not really into. Yeah, I'm Sherlock Holmes, baby. <gasps> you burnt. I would say, I'm sorry. I would love to see you play <laughs> Mist and Riven. Oh. You oh. you should play them on the channel and I'll do commentary with you. Who? Mist and Riven. Where you click the things and and you do puzzles that have like compasses You on think them. I'd like Mist? Well, we have Mist on Steam. We have Steam. all of them. Yeah. Every one of them. We should try that. You would love it, I think. I need to get the, uh... You might need paper and a pen, though. <sighs> Fuck. It's not an easy... They're puzzles. I can, such a great I can figure it out without paper. Please. My cousin Brent was playing that on a PC in 1994 with, like, a... You're listening to Sherlock Holmes on audiobook. I actually have the complete works of Sherlock Holmes in my um, Kindle. I have a lot of crazy books, though. Don't I? What? On Kindle, I have crazy books. You have very interesting stuff. Yeah. Classics and philosophy books. Yes. I'm glad that there was no Crowley in there. I was really God, I happy want my him. psychology degree. You said you want to read Blavatsky. You should get the uh, uh, ISIS unveiled. That's the one. I bet seen. we could find the audio on. Uh, the, yeah. On YouTube, the audio of it. Yeah, probably. Skyrim and Bioshock are superior video games. Yes, they are. That's I. A, I I agree. You, I you I need to beat Bioshock. Yeah. It's a beautiful game. I could download freaking Skyrim too and play that on the Switch. There's an ending to Skyrim? Yes. That's crazy. I want to see that. It's epic. I want to see it. And the <laughs> ending to Fallout 3? I've beaten Skyrim. Mm. But the one game that I went insane with... What? <laughs> was Fallout New Vegas. Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, I beat that game where... Completely? Yeah, I beat it completely, and then I killed everyone to uh -huh. empty out all the towns, so everything was a ghost town, and That's it was just insane. me living. What? That's how deep I went into you it. You murdered everyone in the game. That's possible in that game. Yeah. It's not possible in 3. There's some characters you can't kill in 3. Huh. Definitely. I want to see the ending to that game, too. You get your baby back, right? Then... Shani, do you still do makeup? You had some of the best cosplay-type makeup. Yeah, I really, like, tell you the truth. Oh. Um, whatever money comes along, mm -hmm. yeah. hopefully, yeah. Lord crazy. Jesus. And people can see our wish list. I thing. really want to, like, start focusing on, like, alien looks. Like, maybe, like, a... Neon pink alien. That'd be really cool. And I'm doing... I have the collector's version of Bioshock. So it's all three games and all the DLCs. And I'm doing 100% playthrough of Skyrim. That's awesome. And that's awesome. I beat Skyrim. And I beat a lot of the side quests. And 
I've been part of a lot of the houses that there were. It's insane. The ending of Skyrim is insane. Okay, that's awesome. Ah, oh, I love it. You become king of Skyrim? Or queen of Skyrim? I don't remember. Oh, okay. I just know the ending was insane. <laughs> I got stuck, and it was we bullshit. Do it was that. bullshit. It made me so angry. What? With my fucking... It was Peter Steele. I made Peter Steele in the game. I, I rest in peace to Peter Steele, who's in heaven. He was a repentant Catholic when he died. So he, we're going to see Pete Steele in heaven. He's singing in the choir. I made... I, and I na made the same name for my character in... Um, oh my God. What was it called? Uh, Guild Wars 2. I made his name Petrus Van Landis. So that would be his name, like, if, if, if he were a fucking Viking. So, uh, it makes me very sad and, 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 and shit. My thoughts gone. <laughs> I'm having really bad cognitive issues. I think it's the stress. I think both of us are getting dementia. <laughs> oh my god, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Gavin's a good boy though. This is a baby Gavin Kit Kat. He's a boy. That's a Gavin Gavin Kit Kat boy. He's so cute. We love Gavin. Do we treat stream? We had one. Where's the wish list? I'll get it for you right now. Watch your DMs. Oh come on. Max. Yes. Jesus. Shut up, Max, for a second. Aliens. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I love doing the alien looks. I don't know why. Yeah, they're great. Like, if I could, if, if I had the money, man, I'd get, I would be getting different types of contacts and wigs. I, I would love to do that. And then eventually, wow. I get, like, a collab with Jeffree Star. Oh, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. Jeffrey Star and Shane Dawson know exactly who we are. Yeah, they do. They do. It's true. Chevy Chase knows who Shanny is. Mm hmm. Shanny, for Christ's sake. Exactly. Oh my God, he's great. He's 80 today. I think it was today it was his birthday. Prob cabin fever too. You think I have cabin fever? Yeah, that would be accurate. You don't. You haven't gone out in a, what quite a while. I don't want to deal with them. I know, but you could at least. You should probably just go out on the porch every now and then and get some air. Well, I did the other night. Okay. Right. I was having this horrible half flash. And so I went like maybe 40 minutes out on the porch and Watermelon was crying at the door the whole time because she like for some reason if one of us leaves the house she has to sit by the door yeah. and she cries. She can't handle being alone mm -mm. even though she won't let us pick her up. Oh my God. <laughs> that's really strange but that's watermelon yeah she has to have an eye on us at all times she does or it's just <sighs> it's cry city that's for her thing. it's crazy and I think that's because she's like we've had her since she was a kitten yeah so we're kind of her like mom and dad yeah I think yeah yeah the, yeah and and William has that position normally. Get some of that vitamin D. <laughs> yeah. Is it cold out there? No. Yeah, it's eh. getting there. Eh. It's approaching cold. Maybe. Approaching. Why well, I'm out every day in it. Every day. I want to see the trees and their leaves. They're not changing. Hopefully I'm getting my car fixed soon so I could take you through the Poconos. <gasps> and you see all the leaves. Love I'd them. love to go to the Poconos. We're going to do that. That would be fun. Because I'm close to getting it fixed. So. One of my cats throws a fit if we close the door on him. 
Yeah, cats have this weird door they thing. Have to, and they're strong. Yeah. They open them. <laughs> my, my Uncle Tommy told me, go up, make sure, especially the attic, and they love going in the attic all the time. I smell Gavin's fur and I smell the attic smell. So my uncle told me, close the door, especially the one to the attic and, 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 and all the others upstairs to, because it conserves on the heat. And he's right. Of course he's correct. Uh, so I did that and, and then I go up there the next day and they had pushed my grandma's door in. And it's not, they stick. You, when you pull it, it's tight. That thing was friggin' open. It hasn't happened again because I really shut it. So I think it's solved. But wow, they're strong. They are. Animals. And they're smart. They're smart and strong, yeah. This, <laughs> this is fun. I like streaming. This is You're fun. You're having fun. Yeah, I'm having fun. Are you? Yay. Hmm? Creed Thoughts. Hi. Creed? The Creed. band, the first album, kicked ass. Court is in session. Oh, uh, yeah. The verdict is in. Yeah, that's right. No appeal to the docket today, just my old sin. <laughs> that one? Yeah, that one. Yeah. That's good shit. <laughs> that's great. But the, the, that's it, their first album, and then you're done. All held captive under the sun, a sun that shines on only some. We the we are all in one. We the meek are all in one. We yeah. the meek are all in one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love music. Yeah, me too. That's why. Like this people are like, down. "What's your favorite genre?" And I'm like, "I like all music." Well, I'm listening to the Mortal Kombat soundtrack from the, the original Mortal Kombat soundtrack from Genesis, the Genesis soundtrack. People apparently <laughs> think my house is a shelter, so I have kittens dropped on my porch all the time. Okay. One set was legit, not even an hour old. They were still wet and no mom. Oh, Ladies. my God. Oh. I've done that. Yeah, you did that. I, I've bottle fed little babies. Mm-hmm. A little kittens. Cute. Aren't they a Christian band? Yeah. Creed, yeah. Yeah, they're a Christian band. And then Scott Stapp went solo and like lost his mind. He had trouble with alcohol, I think. And then he got sober again and shit. I wonder how he is now. I don't know. Ah, uh, you know a concert I want to go to? <laughs> Journey. Journey's on, on tour. And I'm like, oh, and, and, oh, man, who was the one who, who's mm -hmm. also with them? Oh, Toto. Toto. Africa. I love that song. I'm going to listen to that right now. Exactly. It's a great song. They're with Toto. Toto. Yeah. Africa. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's so, like, people my age. All, there's yeah. just going to be old people and middle-aged people on Journey. Yeah. <laughs> But at the same time, it's like their music is so incredible. Why wouldn't you want to support them? No, I, every, I think I had the best idea. They got to do at least one show with Steve Perry, and they, they do it. See, we could do a show about music, movies, comic books, etc. That would be freaking awesome. Oh, comics. I, yeah. I, you know what comic books uh, I want? The Howard the Duck one. Howard the Duck comic. Yes. Okay, that's fucking great. Howard the Duck. I don't want to talk about comics because of that collection was so great. It was beautiful. Old, they were old boxes, man. I had comics and binders and, and like, like binders full of comics in Colorado. I, my God, I'm going to, I'd like to vomit. I know it's in heaven though. And they're pristine, perfect versions in, in, in plastic, uh, glowing plastic perfect. It's in heaven because it was it's sacrificed upon the altar of satanic people. What is this? <laughs> he just walks fine. right into your lap. All right, fine. Uh, Gavin. Gavin, boys. What are you doing? Oh, my God.
he's constantly on his lap lately. Like I love him. Like, he's so cute. Look at that boy. He's under my cord. He made me change my song. Aw, oh, Gavin. Did you do that, boy? Come on, man. Did you do that, boy? Okay. I love you. I love him too. I love you. You're such a good boy. Baby. You're such a good boy. Yes. Yes, we get a we get the the upfront Gavin. Oh my god, look how beautiful he is. He's an amazing kid. Oh wow, look at that face. Oh he's what a, beautiful a baby boy. boy. He's like, hello. I am Gavin, and I'm here to tell you that I love everyone. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> His ears. He's a little tail. Mm -hmm. He's a tail. He is a good boy. He is Toby's. Oh, my God. He's mm -hmm. so cute. He really is. He is. I love the boy. I just want to look at him all the time because he's so sweet. Me too. Gavin? Gavin, you sweet boy. I love you. He's got a wet face. He does? Yeah, he was drinking water. You were drinking water out of the faucet again, babies. He loves that. Yeah. <laughs> he's so cute. You're a good boy. Oh. It is a Gavin. He's yeah, a he's a ferocious tiger. Yeah, wow, the kitty boy. <laughs> he looks straight in the camera. This is good shots, actually. Yeah, I know they are great shots of him. He, he just looks straight in the camera. He's precious. He's a good boy. Yeah. Everyone likes to watch cats. Why wouldn't you? I know. You can tell he's getting older, though. Mm-hmm. The older they get, the more lappy they get. Very lappy. Like watermelon, she sometimes goes in Jason's lap. Yeah. But mostly she she likes to be either at your feet or on your side. Yeah. She's not the cuddler. No. Gavin is a cuddle bug. That's correct. He cuddles. When he's ready to sleep, he'll sleep right next to you and snuggle you. Oh, that's a boy. Yes, a yeah, good boy. Yeah, that's a good baby boy. Yes, a boy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. so cute. I mean, look how big he is. He's like you boy. need, if you see the shot. He's healthy. Yeah. He's a healthy boy. He is a healthy boy. Yeah, we keep him fed. We get him his food. Yep. You have three cats. Oh my goodness. We love babies. Cats are the best. All right. Yeah, so. Awesome. Good boy. I'm kind of getting tired. I think I'm at the end of the road from the relaxer. Oh. So. Uh, bro. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm a muscle relaxant. Yeah, that's the deal. It helps. With life. It helps. Yeah, it does. But it doesn't fully take it away, unfortunately. I don't know if there's any drug that can take away this pain. Probably not. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to lay down. You guys have a wonderful day. I love you. Peace, Maranatha. And Jason is sexy. Oh, no, I love you. I oh, love you. Holy shit, that's amazing. And, and, and G-Man, mm. I never want to be with you. <laughs> See? Bye. <laughs> there you go.